The board just approved these changes a few minutes ago. They were first proposed back in 2020. Right now, overtime for farm workers doesn't kick in until a worker hits 60 hours per week. According to a report by the Department of Labor, these new changes would roll out over the next decade. Beginning in January 2024, the current threshold would be reduced to 56 hours, then in 2026 down to 52, and four more hours every year until the new threshold for uh, 40 hours goes into effect on January 1st, 2032. Members of the Wage Board include former Buffalo Urban League past president Brenda McDuffie. A member of the New York State Farm Bureau was also a member of the board. He was the sole no vote. At the hearing in, uh, back in January, it was reported that reducing the overtime threshold could increase expenses for farms as much as 42 percent. That's over $260 million per year statewide. Now, during her State of the State address earlier this year, Governor Hochul announced a new permanent refundable tax credit on overtime hours for farms of any size in the state to offset these increasing costs for farmers. Again, just a few moments ago, the Farm Wage Board voted in favor to reduce the overtime threshold over the next 10 years. I'm going to have more developments on this story coming up at 6. In the Information Center, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.